The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. And one thing, um, a, a fantastic foundation he laid for his lies involved his literary agent, uh, Daisto mm -hmm. and Goderich, uh, back in 1991 when he wrote his bio for them to, for them to publish in their magazine where they advertise what authors they represent, mm -hmm. and then later it was published on their uh, Internet website, he wrote in his own biography that he was born in Kenya. Oh, yeah, sure. And we've put that up so many times, and that picture of a young Barack Obama, and, yes. and, and that picture, and there he is, and, and he has his name on it, and he's written it, and he said um, about being born in Kenya. Now, let me go over some things with you. Um, mm hmm Born in Kenya when, and again, I don't believe he was born in Kenya, but I think he's he's adaptive. He's chameleon-esque, as you say, almost sociopathic in how he can change the story. But right. the Obama bio said born in Kenya for, what, at least 16 years. Is that, is yes. that fair? All right. Yes, 16, 1991 until April 2007. So now the Obama, I guess anti-birthers say that that was just an error that was there for 16 years and in spite they handed it out to so many people so many different times including his own publisher but now it's an error after 16 years they scream at me you're a racist that was an error right actually it was um it was miriam uh Goderich. that's right um she she said she told uh someone it was it was printed at snopes um that she was responsible for um, that uh, error right. in his bio in 1991. She's now, at the time, she was an assistant, and now she's a partner. Now she's a partner in the firm. Uh, yeah, partner in the firm. And she, she, she called it a brouhaha. Yeah. She goes, you're, you're undoubtedly aware of the brouhaha stirred up by mm -hmm. Breitbart about the erroneous statement in a client list mm -hmm. published in 1991 um, and now she has this caveat, which was for circulation within the publishing industry only. Yeah. Like, because this bio was for other professionals whose, whose primary job is to get things right mm -hmm. in writing, mm -hmm. that somehow that means that it can be wrong because yeah. it was for other professionals. Agreed. Um, she says that he was born in Kenya. That was nothing more than a fact checking error by me now peter yeah. who fact checks your bio nobody nobody i, I just got I, I truly i mean i i just got done writing and i'm kind of proud to get to write this national piece mm -hmm. and uh they at the end you know then when you talk to your editors they say give us a 50 word bio yes and i could have said i'm the man on the moon i mean i don't know what i could have said but i said you know i've been doing this job yada yada yada, yada end of story so when you do that overwhelmingly, everybody we've talked to said, now she would have not, when I mean, you think about this, this woman who was falling on her spear, falling on her sword, uh, of all the places in the world, to him to have said by mistake, born in Kenya, why Kenya? Well, she's not even saying that he said it by mistake. I know. She's saying that she put it in there by mistake. Of all the countries why in the she, world. Yes. Why would, why would any editor... Yeah. Um, Make up a country. Have to fabricate yeah. a birthplace. Yeah, make and up why a would she pick Kenya? Exactly. And, you know, you don't do that. Uh, they provide their life story yep. to you. Now, if there's a grammatical error, if there's mm -hmm. a spelling error, which, of course, with Obama there would have been, then, yes, you correct those. Sure. But, but you don't correct his life story because no. that's what he has to tell you. Exactly. And you simply, re you know, repeat what it is. Now, and when you say falling on, on her sword, to me, that's a noble thing. Mm -hmm. You do that no, when right. you're saving someone yeah, for a noble reason. She's not doing that. No. She's lying. Well, in the world that they live in, and I really thought about this a lot. By the way, if you just joined us, I love her. Her name is Linda Jordan. We're talking about, obviously, the life of Barack Hussein Obama. And tell a friend about it right now. 710 KNUS is our website, or excuse me, is our, uh, our dial position. Give them a shot. All right. But... In the world that they live in, publishing business is very left of center. Booksellers mm -hmm. are very left of center. These people are really politically correct, scared to death. If she'd have come out and said, no, he made this up, 
She would have been ostracized, probably found a way to fire her. She'd have been called a racist. She'd have never gotten another book out there, let alone get somebody on a radio show if that's her job. Whatever she does, she's in that business. It's like the media. She's done. And so I think, I mean, you're not on the inside, and to a degree I am. So what I'm telling you, Linda, is when she said that it was her error after 16 years, she's not doing that to protect him. She's doing that for herself because in the universe that they live in, Hollywood is the same thing. She's Her goose is cooked and her reputation is shot. Well, not only for herself, but, but they have a, a business interest. Absolutely. Um, you know, they represented yep. him at probably hoping to do it again Absolutely. as an ex-president. Well, so there's a lot of potential money in there for me. her. But you know what, Peter? She better be careful, oh. both of them, this Goderich I, and Jane Deistel, because... I, 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 I'm they're going side. to they're going to be questioned. Of he, course, Obama's not going to get away with this. He no, is going you, to be prosecuted you know what? You for using that. false ID and creating Man. a false identity. You, you say that, and you know everybody would hope, at least the reasonable people. But I'm not so sure, given the climate that we live in. Remember what she did was what they call in prize fighting. She took the price, right? And that's what she did. All right, now moving along. Again, the same thing. When you go back to them. How many times, if you go to, like when you point out, now he's 34 years of age, and he throws Chicago into his bio, correct? Yeah, that was very interesting. In 1991 till 1994, uh, his bio said that he was born in Kenya, raised in Indonesia, and Hawaii. Then in 1994, when he was 34 years old, he threw his hat into the ring to run for Illinois State Senate, a seat. And all of a sudden... His bio changes to say that he was born in Kenya, raised in Indonesia, mm-hmm. Hawaii, and Chicago. Chicago. Okay. Now, at the time he made up this lie, Barack Obama, he was 34 years old. He himself and third-party sources confirm he did not move to Chicago mm-hmm. until he was 26 years old. Well, here, I can stop you there. Okay. Of all the places in the world for him to go after law school... Why Chicago? He never lived there. He lived in Hawaii, lived in Indonesia, obviously lived in New York, traveled to Pakistan Mm -hmm. that we are aware of, maybe back to Indonesia again. But having said that, the only thing I can come up with is, of course, that's the birthplace and the home and the power base of Frank Marshall Davis, who I really truly believe, and I'm using words like believe, not know, I believe that's his biological father. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. 